Hello people, it is Night Dagger again, and I'm back with another canon video. Um, this time I'm going to show you my latest creation. It is this right here. Um, kind of the same as the last canon with a few major, major changes. Um, the basic design of the canon is still the same. It's still, this one's a 5x2 model. Um, the biggest change you will notice when you look at the firing mechanism. Be sure to set ammo delay before firing cannon. This cannon has an auto igniter built in. All three of these are connected to a circuit underneath it that will ignite the TNT. The delay is manually settable by throwing one of these switches. You can set it for short, medium, or long delay. Um, let's go ahead and set a short delay, load this thing, and fire it once. Provided the sheep doesn't knock me off. And we're going to hit this, and the short delay has about a one second delay between the propellant and the ammo igniting. So, push the button. And it fires, and that TNT goes off in midair. Now, say we don't want it to blow up quite so fast. We can come over here and set the long delay. And the way this is set up, if you have more than one switch thrown, it will choose the shortest delay selected. So if you flip all three switches, it's going to go off the short delay. Now we're on long delay. Notice that the ammo TNT takes a lot longer to ignite. Now, unlike a lot of people who will make these wonderful cannons and then not show you how they actually function, or how they actually function, I'm going to take you on a little tour on the circuitry behind this thing. Um, I still have kind of the same thing going on here with power inverter. However, you can see that there's nothing physically connected up top. That is because all of the circuitry for this thing is down below. This is the circuitry required for the cannon. Um, this comes down from the ignition switch. It connects to this right here, which goes up to that torch up top. That controls the power inverter. This is set to go off instantly when you push the button. However, it also comes out here and goes through a timing loop, which is basically just a bunch of inverters strung together. Um, at the end of each one of these timing loops, there is an AND circuit that then comes up here and connects to these ignition torches. Um, I use an AND circuit because it connects to the lever. Um, you can see that this lever here is the one that I left thrown. That circuit is lit. It comes over here goes over that, which is part of a different circuit, and connects to this AND gate. So when you push that button, it's going to start that timing loop. It's going to come back here. It's going to shut this torch off, which will turn this torch on, which ignites it. This part of the circuit here is part of the medium ignition delay that connects to this AND gate here. And then this one is part of the long delay. Which connects to this AND gate way over here. This one I'm not going to do a video tutorial on simply because it took me a good three hours, I think, to lay all the circuitry for this thing, and I had a pretty good idea of what I was doing when I was doing it. Um, but for all of the other videos online that are showing off their big 
huge cannons with auto ignition and all that. Um, I just figured I'd give you a little bit of appreciation for how much work actually goes on behind the scenes with those. Um, I don't think anyone's done one with programmable ammo detonation times before, so I may be the first one to do something like that, but like the Imperial Cannon that the one guy shows off, this is essentially what's probably going on behind the scenes to get his ammo blocks to go off after a certain timer. It's just this delay timer right here. I'm not exactly sure how he did it, but I'd be surprised if he didn't do something similar. Um, anyway, that is the latest in a bunch of TNT cannon creations. Um, this is Night Dagger signing off.